what we were like before getting married. There's definitely a difference before and after. I used to just have access to my elbows, but now I have access to all of his elbows. In addition to the elbows I already had, I've basically doubled my elbows. Back when we were dating, we used to break into museums to climb inside priceless Egyptian sarcophagi. Yeah, and now we mostly just stay home and hide behind cardboard cutouts of NBA players. When you're dating, you close all eight doors to the bathroom when you pee. I mean, after you've been married a few years, you might as well open the eight doors and invite a priest in to bless your urine before you flush it. Goodbye privacy. I'll admit, it's a little intense when the wedding ring first goes on your finger. We can't take the rings off because the metal gets too hot when you try to remove them, and we couldn't be happier. Moving in together after marriage is a major adjustment. I used to live by myself with 19 cardboard cutouts of Patrick Ewing. Now suddenly, there's a woman in my house, and she has 15 Scotty Pippins. There's no need to dress up anymore now that we're married. At home, sometimes we wear nothing but a single locust perched on our foreheads. I actually love how comfortable it is to just drench my hair in orange juice and in case the locust gets thirsty, and not worry about trying to look hot or impress someone. We lived together in an abandoned salt mine for years while we were dating, so it's almost like we were already married. After we got married, we lit a candle in the darkness and saw each other for the first time, but not much else has changed. Married sex. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a bit different. <laughs> <laughs> when you're dating, sex is still mysterious. Every time I saw his penis, I would furrow my brow in confusion and say, aha, a riddle. Sometimes we start having sex, but we do it by banging our foreheads together because we didn't know what each other wanted. While we were having sex, I would repeatedly point at my penis and explain, that is my penis. And she would repeatedly point at her vagina and say, that is my vagina. When you've been married for a while, there's no need to point anymore because you basically know the gist of what's down there. But at the end of the day, you don't need to have good fun sex to be happy. You just want someone who will stand on the table with a rolling pin so they can crush a rat that learned to walk on the ceiling. The secret is that marriage is actually really, really great. I'm married right now, and so is he, and you are too. Everyone is married to everyone, and that's just the way it is. And if you're lucky, you might even get a big fantastic divorce. I can't wait for my big fantastic divorce. Me neither.